Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Learn Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status scratch regarding number of violations, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in City of San Francisco interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you are given a data set of health inspections. Count the number of violation in an inspection in Roxane Cafe for each year. If an inspection resulted in a violation, there will be a value in the violation ID column. Output the number of violations by year in ascending order. Okay, so basically we are given a data frame called San Francisco Restaurant Health Violations and our expected output is a pandas data frame with essentially two different columns, inspection date, so which basically is the year and the number of violations, right? If we look at the data frame, San Francisco restaurant health violation. So you have a lot of information. So business ID, name. So here only you need to, you know, make sure that the business name is Roxanne Cafe, right? And if you look at, you know, uh, the inspection dates as well. So there are inspection IDs, inspection dates. So you only need to keep the year part. And then if there is a violation, there will be a violation ID as well. Okay. So to do this, the first thing that we should do is since it says we need to care only about Roxane Cafe, right? So what we can do is, you know, apply Boolean indexing that is supplied by a list of true false values right and let's store this in a data frame called df so basically what i'm saying is from this data frame sf restaurant health violations right so if i take the sf restaurant health violations right health violations uh, and then for the column business name right because business name column has the value right so business name is equal to equal to roxane cafe right so if i just copy this here and paste it here right so if i now run this right so if you look, look at it now all the rows are where business name is equal to roxane cafe right let's save this in a data frame called df because you know the name of the data frame is so long so like you will have to write it again and again so that is why let's save it in a data frame called df now what we need to do is let's create a column right which has basically the year part of the inspection date column right so what we can do is we should import a library called import date time as dt right because here you can directly you know get the year part from the inspection date column right because if you look at the inspection date so it is a date time right so you can directly get it so what we are doing now is let's create a column let's say we call it year right which is basically is equal to df of the column inspection date right and then you only need to keep the year from the date time library right so date time dot year right let me run this right so let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it you now have a column right so you now have a column called year right so now once we have this then what we can do is we can group by this year and count the number of violation ids right so because that is going to give you the number of violations each year right so what we can do is we can simply do df dot group by the year column right and we want them as column as well right in the output because that is what we have in the expected output right so you need the year so what we need to do is we don't need to make this as an index so we write as index is equal to false and once you group by then from the violation id column right so violation id column you are basically going to count right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now you have year and violation id right now you need to sort this by year in ascending order as well right so we write dot sort values right and by which column by year right so by year let me run this again let's see what we are getting so now this is sorted right and we need to change the alias of this column to inspection date so we can use the rename method so we write rename and then what do we want to rename columns right and then we can supply the key value pair so we need to change the name from year to inspection date right so now let me run this okay so we now have the output that is exactly 
like the expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how i do this in python now let's move to mysql and see how the corresponding code looks like so if you look at it this is the same question right the expected output is same as well so you have year and number of inspections right and if you look at the table sf health restaurant health violations right so you have the same amount of information so the first thing we need to do this from is only keep the those rows where the business name is roxane cafe so right we write where business name is equal to roxane cafe right so roxane cafe and once we have this then what we are going to do is we can group by the year part of the inspection date column right so inspection date column we can group by and then we can you know return the inspection year as well right so we write inspection year and we need to alias this as year right so we write as year and then what we need to do is we need to basically count the violation ids right so just like we did in python so count violation id and you need to alias this as n violations right because that is what we need in the output n inspection sorry so it should be n inspections okay now we also need to order this by year in ascending order right so we write order by year in ascending order right okay so once we have this i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what we are getting so now if you see our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know from this data frame or table call sf or san francisco restaurant health violations we only kept those rows where business name is equal to roxane cafe and then we grouped by the year part in mysql you can do this directly in python we imported a library called date time right we were able to get the year part of the inspection date and we grouped by that and once we had that then we counted the violation ids and alias this appropriately in both mysql and python and then we ordered by the year in ascending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video